Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys had a happy and healthy Thanksgiving weekend. Today we are unboxing, unwrapping my November Ipsy Glam Bag. So if you don't know, Ipsy is a beauty subscription in which you pay 10 bucks a month and you get a makeup case or what they call their glam bag with five beauty products that can range anywhere from makeup to makeup tools, hair care products, or skincare. So November's Ipsy Glam Bag theme is their Rock Stars, Rock Starlet, I think it's called. And as per usual, I did know what products I was going to be receiving in my glam bag this month because when you do have a subscription, you get an email that tells you each month, a couple weeks before you actually get your glam bag, of what products you can expect. So without further ado, let's get right into it. I'm going to just open up my bag, my envelope. And first things first is the promo card. It's, yeah, it's the Ipsy Rock Starlet November 2016. Ooh, pretty. This is the bag. They had two different kinds of glam bags this month. I happened to get the navy blue with the gold trim. And they also had a navy blue with silver, but I like gold, so I'm glad I got the gold. Um, and on the bag, the design itself, it has like... Mascara, a couple of makeup brushes, a lipstick, and a makeup compact. And it's all, you know, rock starish. And look, ooh, look at the stars. This is pretty. Little Ipsy star right there. And let's open it up. Ooh, it's gold on the inside. I like that. Yeah, that's pretty. And first things first, I see that I have this. Now, I don't know how to pronounce this brand, but I know I've always loved their products because they're all pink and pretty like me. The brand is Slismith, no, Smith Glam. I can't pronounce. It's S-L-M-I-S-S -S -S Glam. Smith, when you have an overbite, words like this just it, it doesn't work okay anyway it is their angled eye brush in w20 and it feels very soft but also kind of firm like it's going to do the job of going in well on your crease there so that's exciting i love that it's decorated in the little rhinestones and i was a big fan of their brushes but i always thought they were a little too pricey for me so when i started this is my second brush that I got from this brand and my Ipsy glam bag and I love that I'm getting them because I feel like I'm being able to sample out some of their products without having to make that big purchase and since this is an unboxing and they try on why don't we just go ahead and test this bad boy out so I'm gonna take my Tarte's palette oh oh right away I'm not even pressing that hard onto my lid, not that you should ever do that, but I'm not even putting that much pressure on my lid with this brush and it's already going on really pigmented. So that's good. Oh, yep, that does the trick. I'm just going to put a little bit on the outer corner here and just a little bit in my crease. And since we laid that crease down, I might as well just go ahead and clean it up. Yeah, so right away, I love this brush. I think I'm going to get plenty of use out of it. It feels nice and sturdy, but yet feels soft to the skin. So yes, I'm excited about this. Moving on to the next product in my glam bag. This is the Balm Mad Lash Black Mascara. This is a sample size version of the mascara, I'm assuming. Let's see how it goes. Oh, okay. I like the fact that it has this little curve in it. It's not too much of a curve, but it's just like a slight little bump to help you, you know, get the mascara better on your lashes. Ooh. Okay, I like this already. This is really extending my lash. Can you guys see the difference? 
yeah I like this a lot I think the bend here the little curve in the wand is helping me coat each individual lash really well especially since by now you guys should know that I like to sport my natural lash so I love a good mascara I feel like I'm getting some volume but more than volume I'm getting extension which is making my lashes look a little bit longer which I like oh yeah I'm loving this I think I found a new mascara guys okay Ipsy you are a plus two for two here let's see if I like the rest of my products going back into the glam bag I have here this Besame Vanilla Powder. Now I am familiar with this because as you may have been able to tell from a couple of my vids I was using the Besame Vanilla Chai Powder all over my face to set my makeup. Now I do have some of my Kiko Concealer here so I'm going to just put some of this under my eye and then test out this vanilla powder from Besame. And now that we have that all blended, let's go in with the Besame Vanilla Powder. Just gonna tap some out here. See, it's lighter than my skin tone, which means this is going to be best for me with baking. Just taking my beauty sponge and putting that underneath my eye. And we are going to leave this on for a couple of minutes and see how it goes. Now I'm going to take my powder brush and just dust it off. Okay. It definitely looks a little bit brighter under this eye, which is good. And it definitely set my concealer into my skin so it does the job so yeah I like it and I knew I would because you know like I said I'm very familiar with Besame powders good job Ipsy I now have a new baking powder and I love it yay and moving on to the next product that we are going to try on it is this absolute New York matte lipstick in dark red I got a red lipstick in my last Ipsy Glam bag so I really didn't need another red lipstick which means it's time for me to review my products I made the mistake of not reviewing my last bag and sometimes when you don't review your bags you end up getting repetitive products so in order for me to not let that keep happening to me and like you know I'm getting like 20 different red lipsticks I'm going to make sure I review my products and tell them hey I'm good on the red lipstick also I am familiar with this brand I have a few of these absolute New York products already I usually pick them up in the beauty supply store so to see them in an ipsy bag I'm like okay guys okay absolute New York you stepping up you getting worldwide hey now I do have a few other colors in this exact same texture and brand so I'm curious to see how this color is going to look on me. Ah. It feels very creamy. Oh, I like it. The other colors I have from this brand are also creamy, so I was expecting that. Okay, I'm liking this. I like the color. I think it's really pretty red on me. You know how some matte lipsticks can feel like they're a little bit too drying, but I feel like this is really comfortable. It feels hydrating, but also matte at the same time, which is good. It's what a matte lipstick should be, you know? So what do you guys think? Pretty, right? I like that it's comfortable on, it feels hydrating, it's creamy, it's also saturated, it wasn't patchy when I tried to put it on. So yeah, I like this a lot. 
And if I'm not mistaken, I think this is about only two or three bucks in the beauty supply store. So if you're looking for some matte lipsticks that's not going to break the bank, definitely check these out. They're nice. And moving on to my final product in my glam bag, it is this Nooks, N-U-X-E, Paris Nuxalence detox cream it says it's a detoxifying and youth revealing anti-aging care that smooths regenerates revives dull complexion i'm assuming this is some kind of day or night cream it's not a mask i thought it was a mask because i have this same brand in a mask form so clearly because i have my makeup on i'm not gonna put this on my face just yet so i'm just going to swatch it out on the palm of my hand here just a little amount there it feels very silky and creamy. It smells good. Wow, this is really weird, but for some reason, the scent of this, it's not strong, but it's reminding me for some reason of, you know how you get those samples of perfumes in the magazines? That's what this smells like. Like after you've rubbed it for a while and you know, it's starting to lose the scent, that's what this smells like. But it's also very pleasant. I think I'm gonna look it up I think it's a night cream and maybe a day cream it may just be a moisturizer the, the reason I don't know is because a lot of it is in French but yeah I'll test it out see what it does you know I'm at that age where I gotta start using the night cream anyway hashtag this is 30 so if I had to pick a favorite from my glam bag this month it would definitely be the bomb mascara I think I'm going to be using this until it's empty and then I am going to have to go out and get the full-size version I just love that it extended my lashes and made them really pop you know so that does it for this month's unwrapping, unbagging, unenveloping, unboxing, and try on of my November Ipsy Glam Bag. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Don't forget to like and comment and subscribe so you can always keep up with my videos. I am going to try my best to upload at least twice a week. You know, with the holidays and Thanksgiving, it's just been kind of hectic, so it's been hard. But I'm going to apply myself and motivate myself to do at least two videos a week so stay tuned and I will see you guys in my next video bye